I'm here with all of the competitors for the 10 way. So let's go and see how they all feel about this. Feeling confident, Sophie? Oh yeah, definitely. How are you feeling? Yeah. Are you gonna win? No, but I'll redecorate the place. <laughs> Are you going to win? Yeah. Are you going to win? Definitely. Are you going to win? <laughs> Not a chance. How are you feeling about this? It's going to be chaos. What are your thoughts on this epic battle? Um, no, I don't really have any thoughts. Fair enough. <laughs> Is Lance and Frog going to take the title? Yep, yeah, we're feeling froggy. Are you ready for the wooden spoon prize? I just want to cock something with that. <laughs> uh... The tennis wheels are back. Yes, I had, I got rid of the stick, so I had to have the tennis balls. Oh, hang on, Charlie. Charlie's arrived late. Ch are you gonna win, Charlie? Of course. <laughs> is the competition rigged, Charlie? Absolutely. This oh. has been a, it's been a travesty so far. It's been horrible. <laughs> but we're gonna win this one. All right. Ready for the ten-way melee, everyone? Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. This is what my dreams and my nightmares are made of as the machines come crashing together. We've got 10 robots in the arena. We'll do our best to keep up with this, but as you can imagine, everything's going to be going everywhere. Eliminated. Serious business is dead already. It's been less than 10 seconds. Got one casualty out there. There's Dr. Thwackenstein bringing that mace overhead trying to bring down a hit, but even with this many targets, they don't seem to be hitting much. What on earth are they doing? Liam out there, oh, giving a bit of a push about. The pit release button is now active. The oh, machine out there can press that and send these machines tumbling down. The bear has got the drum cranked right up there, just driving into anything that gets in front of them. Look at the amount of robots here. Look at the amount of robots. They're standing in the audience to drive. It's ridiculous. That's oh, the, pit the pit release. It's about to come down. Oh! Ooh, Snippers, Snippers McGee. McGee. Almost Very into nearly. oblivion. Oh, is he on his back? Oh, the burger's gone! <laughs> One mistake and the burger's gone. Okay, so, so far, Liam upside down. Serious business, dead in the corner. Good Dr. boy, next to it. Dr. Wackenstein on the edge Dr. there. Dr. Wackenstein oh, is gone. There go. Hard knocks pushing Dr. Wackenstein. Snippers McGee is stuck. The self writer clearly not working. Pinwheel's still going. Sir Lance the Frog. OMG Pinwheel's and still Hard going, Knocks. But the blade isn't. Pinwheel definitely doesn't have a weapon anymore. They're just in there now trying to survive. Sir Lance the Frog trying to tip over Hard Knocks. Because remember rightly, if Hard Knocks goes upside down, it can't self write. The machine's out there dancing around. Snippers McGee. Now under attack. Hard knocks. I think just trying to eliminate permanently Snippers McGee by getting it in the pit. Slowly push. There's a little lift there from Lancer Frog. Lancer Frog for me is doing the best in this. Followed closely by OMG and then Pinwheel. I'm amazed you can tell. It's chaos out there in the arena. Years of practice and many, many other reasons why. Oh, 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 oh. how slow the axe came over. Oh. And so Lance Frog made light work of them, but <laughs> back again they come! He's finally got itself writing! Slowly I wouldn't, but I wouldn't surely. call that an axe, it's more like an angry tickle. <laughs> it's like a tap that your school teacher gives you on the shoulder when you're misbehaving. <laughs> if your school teacher only gave you a tap, it's a blessing. Oh, hard knocks wedged up on the, on the lance. Slap there. The power that isn't in Hard Knox's hammer is amazing. Pinwheel, I think, is debating suicide here. OMG, dead in the corner by the pit release. Sir Lancer Frog trying to get in underneath Pinwheel. Oh my word, the destruction from that hammer that it just would, what, be, would, what I would be saying. It rivals the mighty God of Thunder himself, doesn't it? It totally does, yeah. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh, poor. Just for those at home, I promise you, this isn't slow motion. That really is how fast it moves. Pinwheel doing cartwheels here at the moment, just circling around. This is, we're down to three now. We've got Sir Lancer Frog, Pinwheel, and Hard Knocks. Sir Lancer Frog 
looking to line up an attack here on Pinwheel or Hard Knocks to push them straight down into that open maw of a pit in the bottom corner of your screen. For me, the one to watch in this is Sir Lancer Frog. It's just been on top of everyone, and he's just he's getting in underneath Pinwheel again, trying to mobilize. Oh, Pinwheel stopped. Hard Knocks, more like soft touch. Hard Knocks now using the um, the tickling stick <laughs> to. Oh, he's bringing it down. No, he's taking it back again. Can't so lots of frog pride. moving around, trying to get position to try and position hard knocks to oh. get them out or get a grip of them. <laughs> this will never not entertain me. Oh, the power of that hammer. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about the power of the hammer turning over hard knocks. Now, right, Sir Lance the Frog, be careful, lads. Oh, oh, I know dangerous you're territory. Cocky. I know you're getting cocky here. Oh, oh it's about oh. to drive just, just watch yourself there, boys, just in case you end up down that pit. Sir so Lance the Frog moving away from the pit. Hard knocks following. The axe oh. doesn't have much power left in it. How about the drive? No, no, no. Oh, Sir oh, Lance the Frog. We're not going the full way down, there's other machines in there stopping Victory it, but, oh, to Sir Lance of Frog! Slowly but surely. Have you ever watched candle wax melt? Yes. Sir Lance of Frog, the victor. The audience are feeling froggy tonight. Oh, Nox. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, so soft Nox, that's about right, isn't it? Uh, you, your, your, your axe was, was, was pretty good in your, in your Eliminator and Loser's Melee. Only now it's just uh, 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 like what? What? I mean, why? Why did you? Why did you do that? Well, I can at least run both ways now. I can self write better than what I did previously. Um, I mean, I, I suppose like I, I can take the mickle on, but you were you've come runner up in this in this thing. Um, you f you f like you fell for the ton. Like literally, you you didn't push you in it. You drove yourself in. Like, <laughs> did you forget it was there? <laughs> Yeah, there was just a big, big flat ground I could just drive on. You see, so. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't all that flat. But no, no, you, 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 you were great fun. We really enjoyed watching the axe slowly descend. All right, so we, we, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk to to the bird because you were pretty confident that, that that you had this, and you were the only spinner that basically was working. You were getting off some hits, and then you ended up in the pit. What happened? Uh, well, all I can say is the measures we took to make sure our spinner was as loud no, as possible. No, 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 no. Okay, out the gun, <laughs> out the goodness of my heart, I invited my cousin to this tournament. Okay, I expected big things from him. Come on, Tim, you know what to do. Yeah, and I, 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 don't, I don't want to listen to any of this. How does he repay me? How does he repay me? He drives listen. into the pit. Get, get, get rid of him. Goodbye. <laughs> Ten robots went in, only one has come out victorious. I love that little thing you did at the end. You sort of, you just lured him into the pit, he did the job for you. I think after the end of that rumble, it's like I didn't have the energy in the robot left to it, so I thought, taunt him in, see if he takes the bait. Unfortunately, he did, but I'm just glad I didn't drive down it myself. Yeah, and it's unfortunately for him. Right, we're gonna we're gonna bring in Sarah. Sarah is gonna present you with your your wooden spoon uh, as the best of the worst robots. Everybody, sell answer frog. <laughs> and, and, and give it up for all of our dung beetles. That was brilliant, wasn't it? Come on. In addition to first, second and third place prizes, we also have some awards that we'd like to give to the Roboteers, which have been decided by the judges and generally by watching all the fights here. So first up, we have the BuggleBots Best Newcomer Award. Anita, who is our BuggleBots Best Newcomer Award going to? Yeah, that will be Felicity uh, uh, with uh, Clause 2. Felicity Sowry with Clause 2. <laughs> Congratulations. Next up, we have the BuggleBots Best Driver Award. So the Best Driver Award goes to Maximum Overdrive with Sam Price. Sam Price! <laughs> 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 
The next award is the BuggleBots Best Design Award. Best Design Award goes to sore loser Alex Mordu. And our final award is an award for best sportsmanship. Now for us, this is somebody who has really gone the extra mile to help out their fellow competitors in the pits. And we felt that for helping out so many robots, particularly Drizzle, this award is going to Tom Lloyd from Flick. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have another big round of applause for all of the award winners, please?